The cougar used to be a punchline, but has the joke of an older woman preying on younger men stopped being funny? And was it ever? Hello and welcome back to the Bald and Off Show, your source of brutal black pills. Well, it's good to be back. Today on the show, we're going to be covering some blue pill donkey dung that is produced by two foids on YouTube on a channel called The Take. According to the channel description, this is The Take, where the leading female-led entertainment analysis channel on TV moves movies, and pop culture. Come to the take for unique, original analysis that takes you deeper and better into your favorite movies, shows, and culture. Our innovative expert video essays offer unique insights that enliven and illuminate the story worlds you enter. Now, as you can imagine, their take is essentially leftist feel-good blue-pilled overdose. So let's analyze this video bog style and turn these blue pills into black pills. The cougar is a powerful character who men are often in awe of, and she gets to be in control while still owning her femininity. She's also sexy, well past the age her society says she's supposed to be. The funny thing is, males are never allowed to express their sexuality except when a Foyd finds them attractive. If a 5'2 balding curry cell cold approaches the receptionist of the IT company he works for across the water cooler during his afternoon break, he would find his arms cuffed to his ankles after the Community Standards Board of Facebook arrives with riot gear and automatic rifles to take him in for questioning. The double standard is brutal. If a normie said that he is currently casually dating and not necessarily looking for a relationship, he would get so many comments attacking him that the Reddit servers would crash. But the average 2022 femoid wants the ability to express her sexuality in any context she wants, but she only wants to be objectified by the small minority of males that she finds attractive. There is no hard and fast rules by society that says Foyds over a certain age can't be perceived as sexy. It's just that nobody finds the post-wall Foyds with mothballs for eggs, throwing her titties over her shoulder to wear an evening gown and heels attractive. She dresses up in her finest to go out on a night in the town and gets ignored like a stomach growl in the gulag. Before the cougar, it was rare for older female characters to be portrayed as desirable or given any kind of sexual agency. We're used to seeing older men in positions of power and authority and attracting younger partners, so it can be refreshing to see women with those characteristics. She says used to seeing older men attract younger partners, then proceeds to show Tom Chad Ruse, Sean Chattery, and Chad Pitt as examples. In all of these examples, the males mentioned are known Giga Chads who have the look of a male that's 20 years younger than themselves. In real life outside the movie sphere, these chads all have access to women that are 20 years younger than themselves, and it's no secret that males are attracted to youth and beauty. It isn't like it's Alan Rickman or fucking Jeremy Clarkson dating a supermodel half their age. How is it unrealistic to portray these characters as having sexual agency with younger Foyds when it mirrors the IRL situation? The problem is, nobody is bending backwards trying to date or fuck a haggard Foyd that looks like the Wicked Witch of the West, so portraying a character like that on screen would be pure cope. However, often these positive traits are played for laughs. The fact she's often a comedic character also undercuts her sexuality, like we're being invited to chuckle at the fact that older women enjoy sex at all. Here's the problem. The reason why the cougar is portrayed as having such a voracious appetite for sex is because realistically she has nothing else to offer a younger man other than sex. Foyds love to bitch and complain about being objectified by males as if their sexuality is their only trait, but what reasonably exists outside of this? It isn't like the unmarried or divorced mid-40s Foyd has any reason to go for a younger man. If the cougar was to go on dates with a male, get to know him better, etc., that would be an absolute waste of time as it would only exist to mask the real reason she's interested in him. Once again, we see the double standard. The cougar can dip down 20 years to find someone that can remix her guts without popping a blue chew, but if a male does it, he has a pedophilic obsession with younger women? Bullshit. The truth is, age isn't really a factor when it comes to casual sex. As long as the Foyd is attractive, she can have sex with with whomever she can attract. More recently, we're seeing more stories about what the reality of being a middle-aged or older woman is really like, as characters navigate their jobs, friendships, and dating partners of a variety of ages. These stories of old hags shagging their way through a bevy of beefcakes is science fiction cope that is specifically marketed towards post-wall Foyds who want to live vicariously through the on-screen personas so they don't have to face reality. Middle-aged Foyds are not getting any serious attention from males that they find to be attractive. Much like younger Foyds, they might get some 
action if they throw themselves at a male and make the price for admission free with a coke and a tub of popcorn thrown in. But after the wall, sympathy from attractive males disappears like a shekel on Wall Street. Now, I know there's a lot of black pillars who tout the attention that post-wall Freud's get on online dating as a black as a pills, but this is more of a testament to male thirst than anything else. A Freud could have 5,000 matches on Tinder, but if they're all comprised of ethnic normies, they're about as useful as an airline ticket in North Korea. But what exactly is this fantasy? Most obviously, the cougar's appeal is that she has the looks and body of a younger woman, plus the sexual experience, confidence, and knowledge that many younger women lack. <laughs> that many younger women lack. <laughs> Still, the fantasy isn't just a male one. For women, too. There's something liberating about the cougar that goes against the idea that women are only valuable while they're young. Post-wall Freuds can cope in whatever way they choose, but you can't bridge the gap between male interest and female attractiveness with donkey dung rhetoric. If a male doesn't find a Freud attractive, what utility does she have? Freuds don't feel like a discarded condom after they hit the wall because society is pushing this narrative that they should. They feel invisible because the males that they want can get women that are more attractive than they are. There is no reason for any sane male to be be sentimental. Between j -Lo and Betty White is me. I would say at around the age of 45, I started noticing that the way I was perceived was slightly different. I was sort of getting relinquished to the invisible women category. Now this clip is from a video of a former supermodel explaining her experience now that she's in her mid-50s. I will post a link to this in case you want to watch the entire thing. When you walk down the street, when you're younger woman. It's like every man passes you and goes, is she fuckable? Now you can most definitely walk down the street without having anybody bounce anything off of you. Wow, imagine walking down the street and nobody finds you fuckable. Well, of course I know him. He's me. Despite the fact that this Foyd's entire career was hinged upon her looks, she now has a bone to pick with the fact that males no longer want to glaze her yams. Interesting. Now listen to what she says next. Second, I am actually a far more interesting person than I've ever been. And this is where you don't want to see me anymore because I've aged out of being physically appealing to you. Yes, that is correct. That is the experience of every male in the dating market. If you're attractive, you get attention. If you aren't, you're treated as subhuman. When you were living life on tutorial difficulty back when you were attractive, you had no goddamn problem with the male attention because you were fucking who you want and fuck who you don't. You were monetizing the male attention and raking in shackles like someone shortened the Russian ruble. But now that you've been relegated to a common older Freud, you still crave that same attention. This Freud is denser than a neutron star are passing through a black hole. Nobody gives a goddamn about your interests, they're just interested in seeing what you look like with your clothes off. If you got this far, leave me a like and a comment as I respond to each one. I'm gonna make a valiant effort to try and produce videos more frequently, assuming I have the time and motivation to do so. As always, keep the rope out of reach and I will see you in line at the hardware store.